and chill. Matt G, the ghost lady, and Len Moleko. Having having done the first part with me, what energies do you do you feel from me? Are oh, you a good dude? Um, Those you're just scared. Sc- I'm scared. Mm, you're he's, scared to. You can feel the vibes. Yeah, I mean, I can hear you even in your speech when you're talking. You know, mm. you um, you know what to do. You're just uh, scared. Hmm. You're just scared to take that plunge. That leap. Mm. Oh, finally, finally finding out the truth. Mm. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. And now you're realizing, you're like, Shh, mm. what do I now do about this? Exactly. I think with, with the diet, take it back to Genesis. When when meat was first introduced, mm. our God had to flush the whole earth with Noah. Mm-hmm. Even if you think about it as black people and what we used to keep animals for, if we ate meat at the rate that we're eating meat now, there'd be no animals for slaughtering for weddings. There'd be no animals for slaughtering for funerals. There'd be no lobola because you're eating meat every day. Mm. Yeah, bo. Mm. And also, Amazon, your way too. We don't have the canines, the carnivores. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So, and this information is there. The Vatican has all the books, all the history. Why is all our artifacts in the British Museum, in New York Smithsonian Museum? Vatican has got eight floors underground with all African literature. The, the child, the, the Mary and the baby, the Madonna and the child, they've got depictions of them. The first ones were black. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. They know all these things. The Pope is preaching about Jesus, who never had a place to stay, who rolled with 12 niggers. The Pope has got his face behind coins. He's got his own city. The pineal gland. Ancient Africans knew about this and they symbolized it as a pine comb. Yeah. It's always on the scepters of ancient kings. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what you see? The, the biggest courtyard in the Vatican. Do you know what is in there? No. A fucking huge ass pine comb. Do you know that when you enter the first entrance of the Vatican, there are two slabs. Egyptian churches all had two slabs. And in those slabs, it represents opposites. Egyptian people were big on opposites. Odd numbers, even numbers, night, day, men, women, they like were big on this shit. Mm. They always believed life, everything in life has its opposites. So in the churches, they had two pillars representing those opposites. And on those pillars, there would be uh, depictions on hieroglyphics that, that read know thyself. When you enter the fucking Vatican. Those pillars are there, cut from Egypt. Hmm. Do you understand what I'm saying? The, the Pope, Jesus, never protected himself. He knew damn well he was going to get killed. He let the fucking nigga who was going to kill him roll with him and kiss him on the cheek. The Pope rolls in a bulletproof G wagon when he's going to go greet people. Hmm. It doesn't make sense, pa. And that's religion, man. It separates people, you know? So, 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 but you do believe in a higher power, though. Definitely, there's a higher power. Yeah, definitely, yeah. definitely, there's a higher power, pa. Definitely, there's angels. Definitely, there's a uh, your guardian spirits, your family members. There's definitely all those things. Yeah. So now that you know all of this, uh, you've changed the way you eat. You've mm. changed uh, in terms of the industry that we're in. Mm. Um, how Fuck has that changed? Thing. Yeah. Fuck yeah. them. Yeah. I don't give a fuck about them. Yeah. I don't like them. I don't and the thing is the beauty about it is God gave me the talent. So if I really needed to do anything by myself, I have the abilities to do everything by myself. But I definitely am the biggest middle finger to the industry. The mm. biggest. Mm. And I love that. Mm. I don't care for them. I don't subscribe to what they do. I don't give a fuck about what they say. And none of them can touch me because I'm too fucking dope at what I do and I know what the truth is. I don't rule. I knew for a fact that I was not coming here. Money doesn't rule me, doesn't run me. Mm. I don't give a shit about cars. Mm. I don't care. You know what I mean? Yes, I love clothes and all the shit, but at the same time, I don't. Mm. So I'm here to literally, I knew that I wanted to get famous so I could spread this message. You kidding? Yeah. Because before I was famous, I was a Christian. Yes, so I yes, knew that I wanted, I wanted to have pool so I could bring people to the truth. So now that I've left even that false truth of the Christian yeah, religion yeah, yeah. realm, I'm like, I, I get it. I was always supposed to do this. But my role is to to bring people to that light. So I, I 
when they talk about the glitch in the matrix, mm. that's who the fuck I am to this industry. And all of them. Mm. So what are you doing now, like, to, to pay bills and stuff? Um, I mean, I'd work, radio show. Mm. Um, uh, actually, how do I pay my bills? <laughs> <laughs> Somehow, some way, I keeps getting money. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. your ans- your there's another term. Your ancestors never intended on letting you down. They never intended on leaving you in the lurch. Mm. So all I do now is obey my path, and shit gets handled. And real talk. Wow. You don't real stress fucking, about. I'm leaving next. On Tuesday, I'm going to New York. NBA sending me out there for the NBA All Star game. Yeah. After that, I'm f- gonna go to. Uh, no, I'm going to Charlotte, then I'm going to New York. And I'm doing my own shit, catching waves. Mm. I'm finding it by myself. You know, it's just like the world is filled with abundance, bruh. Mm. And you can tap into that abundance. Yeah, yeah. You know, the Bible says, like, of, 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 uh, birds don't worry about what they gotta eat, they don't worry about where they gotta sleep. You know? And God, Utiko, knows. You, he created you. He knows how many hairs you have on your head. And if you mean that much to the greater God, why do you think you're not going to get taken care of? Yeah, true, understand? true, true. So trees don't worry about being green. Mm. Grass doesn't think about it. Wow. Roses don't think about being beautiful. It's just what is. Mm. As humans, we need to give in to that nature of our nature and we will shine. But we're too busy fighting it right now. And I can understand why. Because the information systems that we've been given have just been to fool us. Yeah. There's like life exists with its opposites. So yes, there's a good it's to keep you busy. Beautiful soul, beautiful being that we all come from. But because things exist with an opposite, there's also a very demonic, yeah. devilish spirit. Yeah. And it has won for so long. Yeah. It's winning for so long. Mm. I could go on and on and on, but I really can't because you probably wouldn't even believe some of the shit I gotta say. Dude, that's cra- so you were talking about Hollywood earlier on mm. how crazy it is. Why do you think the South African industry is just as crazy? Like just as fucked up? For them, they didn't understand that they could have used the industry to really educate and grow the nation. And also, they are being used to sell all sorts of bullshit that doesn't benefit us as a country or as mm. a continent. Mm. And then because these niggas are so money driven, they just easily bought. So you're talking about like people who would be like an ambassador for Ciroc, for example. No, I'm talking about the motherfuckers that run SABC. Yeah. You know, I'm talking about, if you look at like DSTV, it's an Afrikaans guy called Kwas Beko who lives in Stellenbosch. If SABC do, don't do their job, he's now winning with Mzansi Magic. But look at the programming they're giving us. Mm. And you can't cry to Kwas Becker. He's Afrikaans. He's not supposed to think about the well-being for black people. SABC was supposed to be thinking about the well-being for black people. But mm. they're not. Because they're fucking hungry for money. And they want to fuck every girl that goes into that office. Mm, yeah, 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 yeah. Shit. It's, it's putrid, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they, they keep asking for bailouts that we have to pay from our tax money. Hmm. Busy bitching and changing chairpersons who know fuck all about broadcasting absolutely nothing yeah can't yeah get you and niggas like me with actual talent and actual vision i know how i could change this country with entertainment i believe i am changing this country with entertainment so i'm gonna fuck what they say or see when they see this yeah. i really don't care i got no respect for none of those motherfuckers absolutely none you're running sbc now how do you change it you chuck everybody out mm. and you start from over and you work with the education system and you deliberately make programming that teaches agriculture that is bent on mother tongue that teaches history fuck your entertainment you will not be entertained here you are going to fucking learn here <laughs> You go fucking go, go to that the That sounds movies. like the Discovery Channel, right? <laughs> the Discovery, how come the Discovery Channel never has shit about African history? Mm. You can watch fucking shit about the bears and 
seagulls. But the fuckers never have nothing about Egypt, about Mansa Musa, about the Moors that traveled the channel from uh, Morocco and went to Spain and gave the niggas education and built their universities and taught these niggas how to live and taught these niggas what sewerage is, what washing is, what fragrances are, what a library is. Mm. Motherfuckers didn't know this shit. Mm. But you'll never hear that in the Discovery Channel. And I tweeted them and asked them, shout outs for you guys for telling us and and taking us to pawn shops and buying goods and selling goods and giving us these auto card shits. But you never have one thing about real African history. Because that even that, the Discovery Channel and National Geographic, even that is a fuckery. They're trying to fuck with you. They, they see the knowledge, then they sift it. They go, no, 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 no. Don't mm. give them that. Don't give them that. Just give them this. Mm. And consume it. Mm. It's crazy. It's man. fucking crazy, man. It's yes, fucking, yes. you know, and it's, it's crazy. A black man, we're all on, the, you're on your own out here. You on and uh, I'm so disappointed and disgusted at these men. They've got kids. I'm disgusted at their kids too, because none of these I've never seen a politician's kid be on Twitter going, guys, I've tried to talk to my dad. I'm sorry about what's going on. It's like none of them have no conscience. Mm. They're all just on the gravy train. I got no fucking respect for none of them. And I know this might go down harsh, but so be it, man. Like I ain't scared of none of you motherfuckers. Yeah, yeah. Shit, man, who do you look up to? Because it sounds like nobody. I look up to Credo Mutua. Mm. I love what Black Coffee's doing. Black Coffee's amazing, man. I look up you to know, Nelson first time, I f- first time I met Black Coffee's energy. Like, yeah, man. I keep telling my, my, my girlfriend, she doesn't understand. I'm like, that guy is amazing. He's amazing, man. He's amazing. He's amazing. He's amazing. Energy. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. You know? Um, Nelson Makamo, who's the guy that who's just invented this whole new style of uh, art and and drawing he's he's got a time magazine cover mm. which is i mean time magazine bro. yeah like crazy wow. and then Latu um who does the macrosa label these are the people that i feel when i talk to are on the same wavelength and i really 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 look up to i used to look up to kanye west he ain't shit to me no more oh man you know what a disappointment what a fucking disappointment, what a disappointment. Bro. um and, and imagine if you were spewing this shit Dog. How the world could change, bro. No, bro. Just him. Exactly. Exactly, dog. You know? Like, it's disgusting, bro. It's so disgusting. But in America, they're under pressure because unlike here where we are the majority, they are the minority. Minority, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So it's crazy, man. It's crazy. And this whole thing of cross... And, and even with us, they divided us with uh, cultures. like yeah, Vanda, Vanda, they, they killed they, us. They killed, they killed us, us bro. They killed, they us, killed us with that we shit. We are one. Just another thing that's happening now. When, 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 when black women give birth, there's this thing called the placenta. The placenta is actually the tree of life. So the, the white birth rate is decreasing in America. It has been decreasing for the past 20 years. Is it the Kardashians' fault? I don't know. <laughs> but that's why the UN is pushing these white superstar ladies to be adopting black kids mm. obviously the crossbreeding because mm. our genes mm. are so strong that mm. they want to have those genes and in hospital they are taking the placentas of black women the placenta there's something called stem cell regeneration all your original dna is at its strongest in the placenta so they are taking black women's placentas and curing and making shit for white ladies it's crazy. Shit, dude. Yeah. Listen, man, I never came prepared for this interview, right? <laughs> I don't know what you expected to see here, dog. You know? Like, it's crazy, man. Like, I want to do mushrooms now. I want to stop masturbating. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go, buddy. <laughs> so, yeah, man, dude. Listen, man. Thank you so much for hanging out with dog, me, dude. I appreciate it, man. Like, fuck. This has been, like... I appreciate it Jeez, so I even much. forgot we are recording at some point, dog. Because, mm. like, cause, like, I really fucked with this shit. I was watching... um. I don't know, Netflix. If, yeah. Uh, Netflix is great programming. Yeah. You see the Killer programming Mike. on Netflix? Have you watched the Killer Mike? Yeah, I did. I did. Netflix, that's what, that's what programming should be. And they're doing a great job of educating and turning the system around. Did you see that episode about the religion? I did, dog. I was like, shit. It's crazy. It, it makes you think. Yeah. Like, he's making fun of it, but like, it's satire, but it's like, when the when it's all said and done, you're like, actually, he's right. Mm-hmm. They've been fucking with us. Yeah, dog. You know? They've been... Oh, my nigga, yeah. they've been. Yeah, man. No, but we're here. Uh, hopefully, you know, uh, we'll have more people like yourself who are woke 
as they say. I think that I think there's there's a generation that is coming. It's coming, I man. Think it's definitely going. Yeah, it's going to be crazy. But it's up to us yeah. to make this information prevalent and and take it out to the people. Yes, yes, yeah, yes. And, 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 and do as you as you may with and the guess, information. Uh, trust me, though, I'm scared. Mm. I'm scared, but I don't fear the consequences more than I fear. My God, mm. and my ancestors. Mm. There's no way I'm gonna fucking fear any motherfucker, and uh, and put them above my Creator and my ancestors. That just doesn't make sense. Shit, dude. So do you have like like aspirations, yeah. and ambitions, or do you just like you yeah, know? I do. I want to have a school. I mm. want to educate. Mm. Um, I want to have a farm. And those really are my aspirations. That's it. You know, we've got a farm back home in Vienna. We're not doing anything with it. Oh, my God. <laughs> and you got some I'm awesome busy out soil here there. doing podcasts. <laughs> you got some awesome soil there. Yeah, I want to learn how to farm again. Um, growing food by myself. A farming and a school. Those are my aspirations. I have no aspirations of owning a Rolls Royce. or. So why do you do the radio show? The radio show is to teach people about hip-hop and how intelligent this thing is. Ah, okay. And, and, and so it's to take this vibe, but on uh, yeah. hip-hop. Okay. Yeah. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Because my whole role is be is being able to take the big chunks of black culture and then dicing them up into little pieces to feed it to the kids, to show them that our blackness actually existed in every bit of us, from fashion to music, so that they understand that everything we are comes from up there and down here and all around and it always comes from a deeper more soulful place imagine we had the united states of africa that'll be amazing dude it'll be over i don't even understand why we still need passports to move around <laughs> i don't because we have everything bro. we have everything yeah dog. ever and more and more yeah and more da, they da. take and sell it back to us in jewelry I cars i whatever don't get it, it dog you know you know like i don't get it yeah. so those are my aspirations and yeah. i pray that they come true yeah um and I just want to marry. Mm. Uh, and I never wanted to marry. <laughs> so, so now, listen, now that you know all this kind of stuff, ne, what kind of lady are you into now? My lady is just like me. Wow. You, must, you guys must have crazy pillow talk. Ne? Crazy pillow talk. Stuff. She is 10 times what I am. Wow. She, she's a million times what I am. Like, she's like literally a million times. Don't you love a woman that can spark your brain? Yo, bro. Uh, yo, spark my brain. Thing, spark dude. my dick. <laughs> Spark everything, bro. Spark, you know, spark everything. Spark the lighter. Spark the joint. You know what I mean? Spark everything. She is the all spark. You know, transformed me. Do you understand? Her name is Akona Carol Lali. She owns a natural hair studio in Maboneng. She is a consummate vegan. She is staunch. Yeah. She doesn't play the bullshit. And yeah. she is really affected and affected me in such uh, a huge way. And I'm so thankful to my ancestors for bringing her through. And I've, now I know why I want to marry. Now yeah. it's like, fuck, I want to make your ancestors mm. proud. I want them to be laughing and shouting yeah. for what they're doing. My I definitely I want to have kids with her because I'm like, yo, man, like I want to have a kid because the energy between us and what we can create. So while talking to Credo Muta, he was also telling me back in the day, that man used to have two heads and eight limbs. And we didn't listen. And Utiko separated us and he threw one half that way and one half that side. Mm. So I was laughing with him. I was like, yo, how long have man <coughs> not been listening for? Because you know? mm. we still not listen to yeah, yeah. Like, yo, people have been disobedient for a long time. But he says, so when you find love and you find that person, you're actually meeting that other half of <gasps> Fuck it out! Yeah, yes, that shit was yes. crazy. Yo, 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 that shit was crazy. And it's crazy when you go to his village, oh, Soweto, yeah. Credo Muto Cultural Village. You see his statues with all the different heads and bodies. And also in his book, Indaba, My Children, he talks about these things. And you think that no man, these things are like, they, they weird stories. But life and existence has it comes from such a long, 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 long time ago, son. And also, it doesn't end on this earth. This shit of you only live once is a lie, my guy. My nigga, you, you're going to transcend. You're going to leave your body. Your soul is going to go somewhere else. There is no hell. 
Mm. You are definitely answer. You have to answer mm. for what you did, mm. but there is no burning eternally. There's mm. no such cuck. Mm. Mm. You understand? Mm. Uh, and this thing of living once, that life is long. Wow. Your choices ride with you forever wow. in this life and the next, my nigga. For real, I'm talk. I talk to my dad, who's passed away last year. I to- I ask him these things. When he comes through a sangoma and he tells me these things, mm, my nigga. Mm, you understand? Mm. And obviously it's hard to believe. It's mad hard to believe. I understand. But I go through it. I go through it. Dude, this is the most enlightening interview I've ever done. Like, dude, my mind is fucked. Dude. I wish I could start my life all over again. And, <laughs> you restart. and you can, dog. You that you can. Don't worry about what you couldn't do because you didn't know then. Now you're going to be judged more because yeah, you know now. Yeah, 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 now yeah. it's about what you do now. You can't blame yourself for things you didn't know. Yeah. But now you can definitely scrutinize yourself mm. and your actions via what you know. Yeah. yeah bro? And it's not easy, dog, but it is the only fucking way, bro. Like, I am happy, dog. I wake up knowing my purpose, yes, knowing dude. what I'm doing, knowing Nothing what I'm doing. Nothing like being happy body, and being dog. content, dog. Aging backwards, dog. Mm. Like, you know, feeling my. I feel the way I used to feel when I was 16. Wow. And there was a time where I didn't feel like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I felt like shit, the mm. world has fucked me. Mm. And, I, and I was like, whatever, man. I'm just going to just continue down the spiral. And then it becomes a cycle. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I had to snatch myself out of that because I always wanted to do. Big and great things, bro. I always wanted to change the world, bro. Scoop, I'm out of time, man. Even this battery is is it's dying, so loud, yeah, my man. Nigga. Yo, it's been so up. insightful. You Dude, know, whenever you, know. whenever you talk, whenever you preach, you're not just talking to someone; you're also talking to yourself. Wow. So thank you for the opportunity, my Shit, nigga. Man. Thank you for refreshing my mind. How come I never chill with you honest. earlier, dog? I think we were both like you know running around trying to fuck every girl in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Podcast and chill. Matt G, the ghost lady, and Len Moleko.